When Jesus had said these things, he went forth with his disciples over the Kidron Valley, where there was a garden, into which he entered with his disciples. And Judas also, who betrayed him, knew the place, because Jesus had often resorted there together with his disciples. Judas, therefore, having received a band of soldiers and servants from the chief priests and the Pharisees, came there with, lanterns and torches and weapons. Jesus therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him, went forth, and said to them, Who are you looking for? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said to them, I am he. And Judas also, who betrayed him, stood with them. As soon therefore as he had said to them, I am he, they went backward, and fell to the ground. Again therefore he asked them, Who are you looking for? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. If therefore you seek me, let these men go. That the word might be fulfilled which he said, I have not lost any of those you gave me. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it, and struck the servant of the high priest, and cut off his right ear. And the name of the servant was Malchus, Jesus, therefore, said to Peter, Put up thy sword into the scabbard. The chalice which my father has given me, shall I not drink it? Then the band and the tribune, and the servants of the Jews, took Jesus, and bound him, and they led him away to Annas first, for he was father-in-law to Kfuz, who was the high priest of that year. Now Kfuz was he who had given the counsel to the Jews, that it was expedient that one man should die for the people. And Simon Peter followed Jesus, and so did another disciple. And that disciple was known to the high priest, and went in with Jesus into the court of the high priest. But Peter stood at the door outside. The other disciple therefore, who was known to the high priest, went out, and spoke to the gatekeeper, and brought in Peter. The maid, therefore that was the gatekeeper, said to Peter, Are you also not one of this man's disciples? He said, I am not. Now the servants and ministers stood at a fire of coals, because it was cold, and warmed themselves. And with them was Peter also, standing, and warming himself. The high priest, therefore, asked Jesus of his disciples, and of his doctrine. Jesus answered him, I have spoken openly to, the world, I have always taught in the synagogue, and in the temple, where all of the Jews resort, and in secret I have spoken nothing. Why ask do you me? Ask them who have heard what I have spoken unto them, behold they know what things I have said. And when he had said these things, one of the servants standing by, gave Jesus a blow, saying, Is this the way you answer the high priest? Jesus, answered him, If I have spoken evil, give testimony of the evil, but if well, why do you strike me? And Annas sent him bound to Kfuz the high priest. And Simon Peter was standing, and warming himself. They said therefore to him, Are you not also one of his disciples? He denied it, and said, I am not. One of the servants of the high priest, a kinsman to him whose ear Peter cut off, said to him, Did I not see you in the garden with him? Again therefore Peter denied, and immediately the cock crew. Then they led Jesus from Kfuz to the Praetorium. And it was morning, and they went not into the hall, that they might not be defiled, but that they might eat the Passover. Pilate, therefore, went up to them, and said, What accusation bring you against this man? They answered, and said to him, If he were not a criminal, we would not have delivered him up to you. Pilate therefore said to them, Take him you, and judge him according to your law. The Jews therefore said to him, It is not lawful for us to put any man to death, that the word of Jesus might be fulfilled, which he said, signifying what death he should die. Pilate, therefore, went into the praetorium and called Jesus, and said, to him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you say this on your own, or have others told you about me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Your own nation, and the chief priests, have delivered you up to me, what have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would certainly strive that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now my kingdom is not from here. So Pilate said to him, Then you are a king? Jesus answered, 
you say I am a king. For this was I born, and for this came I into the world, that I should give testimony to the truth. Everyone that is of the truth, hears my voice. Pilate said to him, What is truth? And when he said this, he went out again to the Jews, and said to them, I find no cause in him, but you have a custom that I should release one unto you at Passover, do you will, therefore, that I release unto you the king of the Jews? Then cried they all again, saying, Not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. Then, therefore, Pilate took Jesus, and scourged him. And the soldiers wove a crown of thorns, put it upon his head, and they put on him a purple garment. And they came, to him, and said, Hail, King of the Jews, and they gave him blows. Pilate, therefore, went forth again, and said to them, Behold, I bring him forth unto you, that you may know that I find no cause in him. Jesus, therefore, came forth, bearing the crown of thorns and the purple garment, and he said to them, Behold the man. When the chief priests, therefore, and the servants, had seen him, they, cried out, saying, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, You take him, and crucify him, for I find no cause in him. The Jews answered him, We have a law, and according to the law, he ought to die, because he made himself the Son of God. When Pilate, therefore, had heard this saying, he feared the more. And he entered into the praetorium, and he said to Jesus, Where are you from? But Jesus, gave him no answer. So Pilate said to him, Do you not speak to me? Do you not know that I have power to crucify you and also have the power to release you? Jesus answered him, You would have no power over me if it had not been given to you from above. Therefore, he that has delivered me to you, has the greater sin. And from henceforth Pilate sought to release him. But the Jews cried out, saying, If you release this man, you are not Caesar's friend. For whosoever makes himself a king, speaks against Caesar. Now when Pilate had heard these words, he brought Jesus forth, and sat down in the judgment seat in the place that is called Lithostrodos, and in Hebrew Gabbatha. And it was the preparation day for Passover, about the sixth hour, and he said to the Jews, Behold your king. They, cried out, Take him away, take him away. Crucify him. Pilate saith to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then therefore he delivered him to them to be crucified. And they took Jesus and led him forth. And bearing his own cross, he went forth to that place which is called Calvary, but in Hebrew Golgotha. 18 where they crucified him, and with him two others, one on each side, and Jesus in the midst. And Pilate wrote a title also, and he put it upon the cross. And the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. This title therefore many of the Jews did read because the place where Jesus was crucified was near to the city, and it was written in Hebrew, in Greek, and in Latin. Then the chief priests of the Jews said to, Pilate, Write not, the king of the Jews, but that he said, I am the king of the Jews. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. The soldiers, therefore, when they had crucified him, took his garments, and they made four parts, to every soldier a part, and also his coat, now the coat was without seam, woven from the top throughout. They said then one to another, Let us not cut it, but let us cast lots for it, whose it shall be, that the scripture might be fulfilled, saying, They have parted my garments among them, and upon my vesture they have cast lot. And the soldiers indeed did these things. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother, and his mother's sister, Mary of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus, therefore, had seen his mother and the disciple standing, whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold thy son. After that, he said to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. Afterwards, Jesus knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now there was a vessel set there full of vinegar. And they, putting a sponge full of vinegar and hyssop, put it to his mouth. Jesus therefore, 
when he had taken the vinegar, said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he gave up his spirit. Then the Jews, because it was preparation day, that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath day, for that was a great Sabbath day, besought Pilate that their legs might be broken, and that they might be taken away. The soldiers therefore came, and they broke the legs of the first, and of the other that was crucified with Jesus. But after they were come to Jesus, when they saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers with a spear opened his side, and immediately there came out blood and water. An eyewitness has testified, and his testimony is true, he knows that he is speaking the truth, so that you, also may come to believe. For these things were done, that the scripture might be fulfilled, you shall not break a bone of him. And again another scripture said, They shall look on him whom they pierced. And after these things, Joseph of Arimathea, because he was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave, leave, he came therefore and took the body of Jesus. And Nicodemus also came, he who at the first came to Jesus by night, bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about a hundred pound weight. They took, therefore, the body of Jesus, and bound it in linen cloths, with the spices, as the manner of the Jews is to bury. Now in the place where he had been crucified there was a garden, and in the garden a new, tomb, wherein no man yet had been laid. There, therefore, because of the Jewish preparation day, they laid Jesus, because the tomb was nearby, nearby, 